Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech and in today's video we are going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the recent mind-blowing benchmarks that have been leaked out by the highly reliable leakster Ice Universe. So let's dive in and talk about that. Now before we talk about power though, uh, let me quickly give you a summary of what to expect from the Samsung Galaxy S10. Now we do know that the phone is around the corner. Uh, it's most likely going to be released in February of 2019, most likely towards the end of February, around 24th or the 25th. Uh, so keep your eyes focused on that date if you're wondering what the release date of the S10 is. And of course we know that it has an Infinity O display, uh, which means there'll be a little circular cutout on the actual display. This hole is most likely going to be on the top left uh, based on some of the most reliable leaks, but we're still not 100% sure if it's going to be in the center, which I highly doubt, or the left, uh, or the right I mean, uh, but I think the left just makes sense if you're going to have a little hole on top of the display. Now just about everything else other than the actual hole is going to be an all-screen display. And make no mistake, this is going to be an absolutely gorgeous display. It's going to be the best display on the market. Uh, as we know, Samsung, every time they release a brand new smartphone, uh, creates a benchmark display that beats every other display on the market. So it's going to be a gorgeous, most likely a quad HD plus resolution display uh, that's going to have the best moving angles, best contrast, and also best in class brightness. Now we also know that the phone is going to utilize the sound on display technology. With sound on display, you're able to build the actual speakers inside the display. So that eliminates the need to have bezels on the top and the bottom so that we can fit stereo speakers. If you don't fit stereo speakers on the top and the bottom of a smartphone, you can just stretch the display even further. So we are gonna have sound on display. It's gonna be stereo quality speakers, and then finally, we're going to have a fingerprint sensor under the display of the actual uh, uh, screen. And it is going to be an ultrasonic fingerprint sensor. Now, the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor uses ultrasonic pulses uh, to create 3D images of your fingers and then uses the 3D model uh, to authenticate and unlock your fingerprint. So that's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fast. It's going to be secure. So those are some of the powerful new elements of the S10 uh, that is already going to set it apart from the competition. Now on top of this, uh, Ice Universe has leaked the official benchmarks uh, for the Samsung Galaxy S10 that is using an Exynos 9820 processor, which is going to be the official Samsung processor for the S10 and the S10 Plus. Now, the, now of course the US variant of the Samsung Galaxy S10 uh, is going to have a uh, uh, Snapdragon 855 processor, which is going to be similar in overall performance to the Exynos 9820. Uh, it's going to be a little bit less, most likely, based on historical evidence, uh, but it's not uh, that much of a difference. Anyway, the Antutu score uh, is over 320,000 for the Samsung Galaxy S10 uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the Exynos 9820 processor. So if we were to put that in perspective, uh, the current Android smartphone that's on the top of the charts is the Huawei Mate 20 Pro, uh, which has a number of, let's take a look at it over here, uh, 309,000. Uh, then we have the OnePlus 6 at number 3, uh, 292,000. And we do have the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 at number 9. Uh, the numbers for that phone is going to be 283,000. So the new Samsung Galaxy S10 is going to beat all these phones and it's going to have a number of 320,000 on Antutu's uh, benchmarking uh, utility. And of course, the only phone that's going to be able to beat that is going to be the iPhone XS Max, uh, which has a score a little over 350,000, which is also mind-blowing. Uh, but iPhones are known to have the best and the fastest processors on the market at any given time. But as, as far as Android smartphones are concerned, the S10 is just going to climb right to the top. All right, so the S10 is certainly going to be a powerful smartphone, uh, full of features that are going to uh, blow away the competition. Gorgeous display, uh, high screen to body ratio, ultrasonic fingerprint sensor, and sound on display. These things are amazing, plus a powerful processor. So many people most likely are going to upgrade to the S10 from their older Samsung smartphones. 
Uh, hopefully Samsung doesn't uh, make the mistake of charging $1,000 or more for their S10 Plus variants uh, and keeps it within the $750 to $850 range. I'm talking about United States dollars. So hopefully the Samsung Galaxy S10 and the S10 Plus uh, don't exceed uh, $900 in price for the high-end models. And that was the update for today, guys. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below about these new benchmarks that were released, uh, revealed. And uh, of course, let me know if you do have an S8 or an S9, uh, are you going to upgrade to the S10? Now, I am assuming a lot of the S9 owners are satisfied with their uh, Galaxy S9s and most likely are not going to upgrade. Uh, but the Galaxy S8 owners that did not see a reason to upgrade to the S9 from the S8 will most likely upgrade to the S10 because it is going to be a major, major change. All right, so drop the comments down below. Let me know what you think. And of course, subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. And for now, have a fantastic day, guys.